Morning guys, Bronson here from Solpro. Today we're going to run through a very important process, the calibration process of your drone. So there's two calibrations, you have your accelerometer calibration and your compass calibration. Alright, before we go any further, we just want to explain why the calibration process is so important. Calibration is, the you calibrate your drone and give it the information it needs to be able to understand where the drone is, what it, how it's behaving, which way it's facing, where it needs to fly, where, and all the necessary information the drone needs in order to fly correctly. So when performing calibration, at least 50 meters away from any houses, electrical wires, um, phone wires, and all of those types of things. In fact, I recommend if you're going to calibrate your drone, do it at the beach, away from any houses, and any buildings, any cables, and do it where you're going to use the drone. Don't try and calibrate your drone indoors. So this drone has already been calibrated at the beach. However, we're just doing it here in this park to run through the process with you to assist you in calibrating your drone. First thing you do, switch on your remote, and then you switch on your drone. All right, once we have calibrated our drone, I'll run through all of these um, values with you and explain to you what they mean and how they are important. First observation, make sure that your front arrow on your GPS lid corresponds with the front uh, stickers denoted on your, G uh, on your drone itself. If your GPS is backwards, this is not going to end up very well. Uh, so we're going to perform the calibration. First thing, take a look at your remote. Notice that you have a circle, a circle, a star, a star. This is on the newer model remotes. The older model doesn't have it. However, it is no different. First thing you do, to do your accelerometer calibration, you click to return home. You take your right joystick, top right corner, bottom joystick, bottom right corner. You'll notice that your drone will start flashing red yellow green red yellow green fast hold it there until that process stops and the drone starts flashing green 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 all right guys so important note the accelerometer calibration basically lets your drone know what level is so you calibrating your accelerometer in order to tell your drone that that is the angle at which it's at zero zero on its x y and z planes so now if you take your drone and you calibrate at an angle when your drone is in the air it's going to try and always be on that angle. So the most important thing here is when you do the accelerometer calibration, try and find the most dead flat surface you can. A lot of the fishermen, we use our bait boxes. We position our bait box at the spirit level, make sure it's dead center, and you calibrate on top of your bait box. You've done your accelerometer calibration, have a look on your remote. Your pitch and your roll should be 0, 0 or 0 0.1 or 0 0.03 or something like that. That indicates that your, zero, that your, your drone is calibrated. Then if you have a look at this line, it should be dead straight, which means your drone is calibrated and is standing level. So the next calibration we're going to do is our compass calibration. So the compass calibration, the way in which we do it, again, click return home, left joystick, bottom left, right joystick, top left. Hold it in until the drone starts flashing red, yellow, green, red, yellow. Green. Once the drone starts flashing red, yellow, green, you're going to pick it up at the back side holding the front of the drone facing out and perform your first turn, horizontal turn. Once you've gone 360 degrees, roll the drone over and do it again. Once you've done the second turn, roll it up and do a vertical turn. Then roll it again right, next turn. Roll it again clockwise. Roll it again clockwise. And last turn. All right, you will know you're done because once you come back to this position, you'll notice and you do your final roll, you'll notice the fronts of the drone now. Once you have done your sixth turn and you do the final turn, are straight up. So when you place the drone down, It'll be facing the exact direction you started your calibration with. It'll be in the exact direction. And once you've done that, place the drone on the, the ground. It'll still be flashing red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green really fast. Then leave it, wait a few minutes. It's now finishing its calibration process. And then once it stops and it goes green, 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 or green, green, red, you know that your drone now has calibrated. The calibration process is complete and you're ready for takeoff. All right, but in saying that, if you see red, 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 or red, red, green, red, red, green, and majority of the flashes are red, this indicates something is wrong. Please do not take off. It will not be good for the drone to take off. All right, so the final process, 
which is a key feature with our Swalper drones, is we can now check if this calibration process was correct. How we do this, if you have a look at your remote, I earlier spoke about pitch, roll and yaw. If we look at the pitch of the drone, because I placed the drone now on an uneven surface, it's showing me it's standing at three degrees. Now if I take my drone and I pitch it, you'll notice an increase. If I lean it forward, you notice a decrease. This shows you that your accelerometer is calibrated. Then the R is the roll of the drone. Now if you lift the drone like that, you get a negative, you get a positive. Also notice when I do a roll, you'll notice that line that was straight in the middle of the remote now becomes distraught as it's indicating at the angle at which the drone is flying. The next thing to check is your yaw. This is your built-in compass which ranges between 0 and 360, sometimes between negative 40 and 320. Take your GPS, turn it to the right, you'll notice an increase in your yaw like a compass. Turn it to the left you'll notice a decrease in your yaw. This indicates that your drone knows when it's rotating left and it's rotating right. Please take note, if your yaw is running constantly and it's increasing and increasing or decreasing, decreasing, do not take off. It means your calibration was not correct. If your yaw is above 360 degrees, if it's in the 400s, this also indicates your compass calibration was not correct. Also before takeoff, your drone has a protection feature on it, which will not allow you to arm below 12 satellites in GPS mode. So make sure you have at least 12 satellites or more before arming your drone. All right guys, so I know this process might have seemed quite tedious to you, lengthy. However, this is actually an advantage. The thing with Swell Pro is doing this six axis calibration and accelerometer calibration allows you to know before you take off if your drone is in the correct state to be flying.